And then when you study these great African nations that we talk about, you know, we talk about the queens where you talk about Queen T or Queen Ty and Queen Amos Nefertari and uh, Queen Nzinga or Queen Nefertiti, things like this, right? Especially we do with ancient Kemet, ancient Egypt. Not only do they have an economic system, they're going to have some type of medium of exchange, some type of monetary, some type of monetary system, some type of coins, or some type of bartering system, or something like this. They have some type of medium of exchange, and then they have some type, some type of political structure. Contrary to popular belief, everybody was not a king or a queen. I'm, I'm sorry to tell you that. that I, I, I've, I've been studying for 26 years. I have still I still have not found an African nation or kingdom or city or village where everybody was a king or a queen. Everybody, everybody was not a Nisubiti or, or a pharaoh or a queen or an Oba. I'm, 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 I'm still trying to find that nation, country, village. I still don't know where it is. And this is not an, an attack on anybody. I, I, I can understand people wanting to say, yeah, we're descendants of kings and queens. Well, well only about, well, when, when you look at any African country, nation, village, what happened, right? Only 99% uh, were not rulers, okay? So do, do some of us have bloodlines that go back to royalty? Yeah, sure, that's true. Some of us have bloodlines that go back to royalty. And I, and I can understand, instead of us calling ourselves the N-word and the B and the thought and the whole and all this stuff, we want to talk about, well, we're descendants from kings and queens. Well, we have, that's a small percentage of our ancestry. That's true. There, there were, even when we studied the transatlantic slave trade, there, there were African, there was African royalty enslaved brought into this country. This is what happens, this is what happened to um, Brother uh, uh, Equiano, uh, who was Igbo. Um, and I, for, I forgot the name he was given, but um, yeah, the, he was African royalty, okay, who was, um, uh, enslaved and brought to, and brought to this country, and and he wrote a, he, he and he wrote a book about it as well. Okay, so yeah, this happens. Yeah, but but the overwhelming majority of our ancestors were not royalty. Okay, that's just so we just have to uh, we just have to understand that. Okay, uh, and once again, like I said, I can I can understand. Uh, I can understand us talking about that as opposed to uh, us being called the B word and, and you know and being dehumanized. I can understand that, but uh, let's not go crazy with it. Okay, but all these African nations, in addition to having some type of uh, monetary system, so with some type of economy, okay, some type of economy and most likely a monetary system, even if it was just bartering, okay? Um, they're gonna have some type of political structure. They're gonna have some type of political structure also, okay? Uh, so you have uh, a, a king or a Nisubiti, a pharaoh, an Oba, an emperor, something like that. You have some type of hierarchy. Okay, so you so this is going to take place also. All right. Um, so I know blackpass.org has an article about this. This is not coming up. But his, his last name was Equi, Equiano. Um, Ola Uda, or Ola Uda, I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it. Uh, O L A U D A A D A H O L U O L A U D A H. All right, Equiano was his last name. But this brother was uh, Ibo from uh, Nigeria. He was a prince, and he was captured, taken into slavery.
Okay, so we have this type. We have this type of history. All right. Okay, so Pamela, how you doing, Pam? Sabrina, organic skin and hair beauty products for everyone, men and children. Natural butters that I get imported from Ghana. My four-year-old daughter and I sell whipped butter, whipped body butters, and body scrubs and authentic African black soap. And believe in fair trade and empowering women. Okay, right. So if I interview you, Sabrina, so then you want to talk about okay, why is it important to use because what you put on your skin, you should not put things on your skin that you wouldn't put in your mouth, you wouldn't eat, because your skin is the largest organ. Your skin absorbs whatever you put on your skin is going to be absorbed into your skin, goes into your bloodstream. Okay. So you want to talk about like the health benefits of these organic skin, hair, and beauty products. What does organic mean? Why is this better than the products that you see advertised to you on the television? Okay. And they may have a spokesperson. They may have an actor or actress that they're paying millions of dollars, you know, to promote this product. Well, you know, why uh, are organic skin and hair beauty products better? And how does what's unique about uh, the skin of African Americans, not just melanin, okay, which is created by the melanocytes, not just melanin, all people have melanin, even Europeans have melanin, they just have a small amount of it, right? But what does, because of melanin, okay, and the darker pigmentation, what does that actually mean, okay? And how does that impact the type of beauty products that you use? Okay. Ola was this Ola O L A it's Ola. Uh, twins were a little rattled. Got your email. We're getting stuff together. Okay. Me me. All right. Okay. So, hey, look, we have to get out of here. Uh, remember, at the African History Network, we focus on educating, empowering, and inspiring people of African descent throughout the diaspora and around the world. Because right now, it's correct wrong behavior. It's not over till we win. I'll be in uh, San Diego uh, Friday, August 10th through Sunday, uh, August 12th for Return of the Gods, the Real Family Reunion. And um, this is... Um, this is coming up. Uh, let me see. Let me give you the. Uh, so, Return of the Gods is a royal festival celebrating the shift and rise to enlighten, enlightenment. Uh, come out for an amazing uh, show of live hip hop, motivational speakers, live African dancers, martial arts demonstrations, yoga, and award ceremony of master teachers and scholars, including Michael M. Hotel, host of the African History Network show, Professor Kaba Kamene. Uh, of the Hidden Colors documentaries as Booker T. Coleman, formerly known as Booker T. Coleman, uh, Queen of Fua, uh, and, and, and more, okay? So I'm being honored this year. Uh, we have the information. You can uh, get your tickets as a three-day pass um, at AfricanHistoryNetwork.com, AfricanHistoryNetwork.com, then also, um, also at... Uh, yeah, AfricanHistoryNetwork.com, and also we post a link here on the third of the broadcast, all right? All right, look, we got to get out of here. Remember, right now is correct wrong behavior. It's not over till we win.